Hello, 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 guys. So, uh, day 50. We made it. <laughs> Somewhere halfway there or, or something like that. And hey, Suicide, welcome. <laughs> Just sneaking in a day stream here. Uh, I don't know. We had some incomings. Some of the people from yesterday were mad. So, uh, uh, let's see. So, I don't know. It's the scattered stuff here. And then we had... Like, it's from all his towns. I think he's just suiciding. My main problem was I was already defending here. So just making a baby wall, it's probably a fake. Um, and even though it might be a little chief hammer uh, trying to steal, but we'll see. Um, hey, Wolf. How did the chiefing attempt go last night? Well, the thing was we weren't really chiefing. We are just faking. So uh, collectively, me and Paige just did some faking to mask my waves on all the other caps so we haven't really touched them i uh, asked summer to uh, to uh, look into them so she's just been farming this guy and that's pretty much why he's suiciding now i think um, i don't know she was just cleaning stuff so maybe he had death somewhere else recalled that and then he's just yellowing it now uh, so let's see here on the first one yeah, just just scraps coming in, but it's nice. He's cleaning it out his own account. I don't have to do anything. Um, so he's probably a nice chief target here in um, in a little bit. Um, so uh, yeah, otherwise I think before I went to bed I killed. Oh yeah, I killed this guy. Um, it was also just a Nephis player. Something had a cap, cap hammerish thing over there, so I was like, okay, he's AFK. Yeah, okay, he has one pop extra now on his small supporter. Um, so that died. I don't think we lost anything. Uh, uh, maybe it's an archive. Maybe we just went clean through. I think Summer gave me the report. Let me see. Uh, do, 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 do. Nope. Oh, yes, she did. And then we spammed in the morning. Uh, I just went clean through. So, easy frack. Um, so, again, kind of just getting those easy fracks in. Um, oh, I'm all over here. <laughs> Uh, next attack in five minutes here, one thirty. So again, no, nothing scary here, I believe. So just a, a safe wall. <clears throat> so I can clean that up afterwards. Mm. <laughs> um. Yeah, even if he deleted yesterday, it's still three days, so today and tomorrow we have to chief him. Uh, how's the competition for the VV race looking? Well, there's no real competition right now. Um, but there are three contesters. Uh, just ignore this one, I think. Um, so these three uh, bad boys here, uh, the R Alliance and their meta. Um, EMX, SA, and so forth, and then you have all the the ties, which is pretty much two alliances, plus a little little text, I think, or substitute players, and then uh, some other, uh, and then us. Um, hey, Batman! <laughs> Welcome back, man. Um, so let's see. Uh, yeah, just a fake. So, oh, and oh, that was that. When do we land here? Oh, okay. I think yeah, I wanted to snipe and kill his units here, but since his cap switched, he is still on dodge. So this just automatically touched. I was just thinking, eh, it's 
it's pretty free. Like there is some legionnaires against the horses, but we would lose like 100 TTs. So and a wall was seven. So just in time to see me die. Nah, 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 nah. I'm I'm all good, fizzy. No worries. <laughs> uh, can you clean someone? What do you mean? But um, yeah, nothing happened there. Uh, still waiting here. I can start recalling the defense. Seven minutes travel. I don't need to split them. And then we just leave the Ash Wardens there. All good. And here we have two minutes on that one. Oh, there's a moon player near Vivi. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a blast from the past. Uh, or maybe it's this one. No. Why are these guys still there? <laughs> um. Oh well. <clears throat> Could clean that, I guess. What's the wall at? It's four. Hmm. I, I need to clean it anyways. And he seems AFK right now, so I think I'm gonna... I'm gonna hit it. So we can start chiefing it. How's my simon going? Yeah, it's fine. Like, Summer kept, I got them to what, like f level five, and then she has just kept simming them to six, and now seven. And honestly, it's pretty damn chill, so I think I'm just gonna just keep simming them to eight or something. Um, even to 10, like, I'm not necessarily in a rush. Oh, another one. Oh, oh, that hurt. Oh, I had hoped for more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly, Fissy. I'm like, it's, it's, um, it's actually what we're like, what, what happened on Mega Mind is, uh, we had, um, like set up like this, um, that we're running on the X5 right now. Um, uh, so it, it took a lot of early game rating. And then the development of three Egyptians just like this. We're just building three of them. I was sitting on one of them. We had Sylvan on another, and then Joachim on a third. 
Uh, so what we actually did was a lot of internal routing. Uh, I think early game they mainly rated me. Um, something similar to this, I think I had 125%. So you can see here, uh, I'm just getting rated now. Uh, capital is at 17. Um, so a little bit of that, but then internal rotations after artifacts. Um, that really helps boost up. Um, and it still takes a lot of hard work. Yeah. But but we were uh, yeah they had a setup of five defenders around them so you can kind of qualify us as external slash internal tech so two main defenders and then the main off account and then uh, a set of three egyptian techs around it um and then a lot of rating also early game micro rating all over the map and then um from main hammers also and then a little bit of uh, rating on me I think I got yeah to 17 and then they started on that just to boost the main hammer and and then a lot of additional uh, micro rating but again getting your production up on x10 is uh, is pretty wild so so each of also the Egyptians would get like a million production in their capital come artifacts so we just routed that in to um into Artie's on the main account so that suddenly gives you three million more to sit and build the units with on the main account um and again yeah um but again just takes a lot of management uh we also got a lot of Artie's that round to help support it um also unique trainer right gave unique boots to some friends um on pepe eggplant that was the that's what the video is about right like fuck pepe eggplant <laughs> uh, yeah on a scale from one to ten he said one well um again it's it's about making your account easy and you can see that on the uh, x3 here like I, I i don't have a problem maintaining this um and we had diets on other bigger defenders i think we had two diets on two defenders so nick just moved all his offense over there then we routed one tech over there feeding some of it uh, or the account just paid for it in itself and then you know it opens up a lot more production on the main account so it wasn't really that much tech rating it was internal tech consumption control and again if you just have enough storage here it doesn't really matter how much your negative is here uh, with some nice routings from your capital or just a little online coverage um, here and there um, and hey Jules Welcome, man. Um, but yeah, Yoda is just Yoda. He, his mind works a little bit different. So he loves multitasking all over the place. And if he doesn't have stuff to do all the time, he kind of gets cranky. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's why he can't help build himself an additional account next to me because he wants his own to click at. So he prefers having control of at least three players, right? Just for continuous clicking and simming and doing stuff. Um, so, yeah. So there's a little challenge in the early game before you get to Arties. So, so again, yeah, the early game is a little, it's always a little funky. Uh, also an X3s and X1s so but uh, it uh, it's okay mm, so I wanted to kill some stuff right Dutch and this one I was like oh, but there's not much to raid A little bit more to raid. Uh, yeah. 
that was this one, right? Yeah, let's just run that down. <clears throat> Too few food pictures. No, I think that's been sufficient. I, I, I noticed yesterday I started streaming and then Nick started posting food pictures. I was like, dude, <laughs> focus. <laughs> um, but now nah, he's fine. He's just at work. Um, and then uh, he got some chilling in here on the weekend. No, he also had, uh, he was out shopping in Ikea. Uh, had to buy curtains for his apartment and um, and uh, go to dinner with family and stuff. So I don't know, he's just been busy. All good there. But yeah, on this account, I'm just, yeah, I'm just, this is getting farmed. I started banking up resources again. Otherwise, this was also just farmed all night. Easy rotate next to a hammer. Um, even though they started raiding me with another hammer three hours away, and I had to, like, guys, come on. I'm one square away from you. No, uh, I like Ikea. I helped build an Ikea here in uh, Odense, where I live. Um, um, it was... Um, it's nice. Like, I like going there and getting some Swedish meatballs. I'm like... And then I can just shop whatever stuff for cheap, and I'm like... Yeah. Or I just go there and eat, and then I go away again. I'm like... The only thing is that there are so many couples there, and uh, it's like... A whole family thing and it's like then you're just walking around there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, otherwise it's uh, it's nice uh, but again that depends on if you know the ikea again remember i helped build it so i kind of know all the the fast routes around and all the shortcuts but you you can pretty much get lost in there that's for sure or end up taking the long way around um and yeah you need some comfortable shoes when you go there like uh, sneakers all the way don't don't try and be fancy <laughs> that's for sure mm, i could boost this finally got some gold back <sighs> okay. Yeah, all good for now. Back in twenty minutes. Okay. Uh, no. Mm. Okay, what's the plan? I need to sim this. I was rotating defense. I'll fix that. Summer was like, Peter, this is home. Killing. This is also home. Not doing anything. So, um, and that's because previous farm list was on this one. So, to satisfy Summer, I need to create more lists. Four, five. I should probably have made them one. 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 All right. So I want to keep this home until it's dead, right? So.
Why did it keep staying at 10? Is this, uh, I think this is predefined with 10. Yeah, okay. I was a little confused there. Whoa, it's a thousand pop. That's a nice farm. I hope it's not a tech. But uh, we're totally going to move it there and uh, add some more. Okay, so it already exists on that farm list, apparently. Okay. Um, suicide? No, we don't rate with swordsmen. They're just standing at home. Like, <clears throat> I tried to keep raiding with swordsmen earlier in the game. Uh, but the thing is, they're just so fucking slow. So uh, they made us hit our raid limit cap at 20,000 outgoing all the damn time. So um, I just switched everything to TT rating. Um, and that has worked pretty nice. But unfortunately, yeah, we just have a lot of units at home eating our crop. Uh, early game, we did not develop our cropper that hard. Again, we wanted more defense, hammers, everything. So we stopped at 17s. If we had done 18s, we could have faster have done 19s and then we would definitely have had a easier time. Um, hey, Alfstring, welcome to the stream, man. Um, boom, 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 boom. Language. Map into sim. It's not like those level ones and twos. <laughs> um, Let's see, I need to fix those. Give me courts who want me to kill. Well, which server? This server? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, uh, oh, you probably don't want to attack them, but uh, just this one. Try and take their diet, or or their capital, <laughs> just for the lulz. They uh, they need some entertainment. Anad yarmas, yeah. Thank you, offspring. <laughs> Enjoy. Is there an easy way to check all outgoing attacks from whole account, or do you have to manually calculate? Ah, that's just manual calculation. Um, but it's just go here. Okay, I have 1,500. Okay, I have 225. And so around yeah, 3,500 outgoing right now. But again, that's me not clicking the damn farm lists. Um, so um, so yeah, it, it's just an easy uh, run through of, I, again, you have four hammers max or whatever, and then look at them and check the outgoing. But I, I did, and then I don't think I really thought it through. And then I started just spamming support being like, your servers are shit. <laughs> and then I just realized, okay, we're actually hitting the limit and that's what's causing our lag issues. So I, I just stopped with the swords and uh, it, it's, we've had like 
18,000 outgoing TTs most of the server, so it is we are hitting our max limit when we when we send every like three to five minutes. Yeah, yeah, th there is no overall calculation for it, no. Uh, not that you can track though, but I get it. Could have been. Yeah, yeah, th there is no, so it's manual. It's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Um. What a page. Uh, <laughs> I love coming into his account, just torrents everywhere. Um, but yeah, no starvation, no problem. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, what's the time in here? 15? So I removed the residence, and that's a good thing. And then I should just build another greenery. Boom, boom. But I was doing the farmless stuff, guys. That takes priority. Ugh. <laughs> I hate moving stuff like this. It's like everything is different. There's no combinations. Uh. That's a high amount. Wow, but we do get full bags almost. Oh, it just seems a little over the top, I gotta say. But in the summer we trust. also overlapping. Again, some of these are on multiple farm lists. Okay. Uh, in here. Okay, it's getting full. Somebody hit us just in advance. I'm very boring, man. Ugh. I'm like a, I'm like that risky fart you don't feel like letting go. Um, so um, no, uh, I'm I have my hands full to be honest. I thought about it for a second, but I'm like, no, one server at a time, and this is even too much for me. 
Like it was fun playing the early game here and doing that whole Egypt development again, trying some some funky stuff. Nick was doing one thing, I was doing another. Like I was doing a little bit more heavy raiding compared to him, and then we're kind of checking out what development was the best and uh, pacing each other in the early game, trying to to grow the accounts um, somewhat decently. So. Um, So yeah, I, I have my hands full. Um, but uh, I wish you luck, and uh, please, Risky, if you come back here, let me know what champions are and what they do, and what you have to do to become the champion, uh, both in your alliance as well as how to become the winning champion on the server to get the bonuses and and whatever will be available to the champions because they didn't specify it. So. Uh, and as long as they don't specify it, I'm like, that's not for me then. Uh, doing six, six, four, 15. I don't know, there's not much point to tournament servers for me, but some people like it. It's a little bit more the opportunity to bring a predefined meta and then play together and try and beat the other guys and then win a trophy in the end. Um, And uh, thanks for following. John Chanced Live. All right. Uh, one more. Five, six. Let's move all the threes. Uh, yeah. Farm list full. Uh, oh, I just clicked the wrong, wrong one, I guess. How long does those take? Yeah, that, that, that's starting to be the problem, right? It's like 35 minutes. Ah, sorry, there's somebody with a motor vehicle outside. 
people screaming, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> it's like, oh, people dying. Uh, but yeah, this is the tournament block. But again, wait, no, wait. No, this is not the one I read yesterday. I did another proclamation the other day, uh, or yesterday specifically, I think. Um, <laughs> Aw, <Aww>, suicide. <laughs> People winning trophies, but Fnook here winning hearts. <laughs> uh, but nice of you to join in, guys, even though it's like a midday stream. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking. Um, this is nice. Uh, oh, wait, I need to start the stable. Boom. And we're done. And we should go back to fixing more farms. It's like summer, like not doing it. It's like, I didn't know I didn't have to. Like, okay. I think last time I killed BO1, I migrated all the farms. Now I can do it back again. I don't like, oh, it's so tedious. But uh, this is, it becomes easier now. Like, Again, these are mainly twos, so we deactivate everything not two. But at least this shit is easier than back in the day. Two's completed. I don't think we can fill up this list completely. No. Almost. Uh, let's just do some random fives. What happened to our O2 list? <laughs> what have I done? What the hell, Batman? Aren't you off player? Um, I could, uh, I could do it with the speed boots, but I need to withdraw hammer colors first. Yeah, you and boonies, but what's so special about 62? Minus 63. Oh, it's that moon guy. Uh. Ah, okay, it's over there next to the VV. Uh, well, yeah, I can just YOLO it, sure. I have no idea what's in there. Uh, but you just wanna... Not a lot of death elite win, I think, but just enough.
but we're still in the early game phase, so I hope it's okay. I'm not really uh, help. Was it also 15 earlier? No. Looks like he started spamming me with singular legionnaires. Like, <laughs> Jesus. When our plans released, uh, plans are released here on the 17th. So in 10 days, more or less. 11. Uh, but yeah, sure, Batman. Like, I'm... I'm I don't really know what I should be attacking right now, so uh, I will uh, maybe be a little uh, cautious about my recalls here. Uh, <laughs> Incoming. Just this down. I actually think it's fine if I recall the full hammer now. So, uh, so yeah, I'll I'll get on it. I'll bring it down. And I don't want to waste scouts on it. There might be 20,000 units, but who cares? Let's grind some stuff. <clears throat> but what do you just need it as a VV feeder or, um, or what was your hopes and dreams? Hundred and seven. Yeah. Otherwise, you do have a lot of like it, it doesn't matter that there's zero percent here. Like, you have some like four possible croppers, you can also settle close to you for routing VV like I'm doing here if you feel like doing that but I'll definitely kill that 9c it's we got a target okay okay Batman. Uh, thanks I was just stalking you <laughs> and yeah that 9c is definitely closer to the VV so all good but again that's there there's no wrong thing in having people far away from the VV because yeah, okay, of course there's a pushing time, but it's also just forces stuff to land later. But nowadays you can kind of organize the hit time uh, for the trade route, so it doesn't matter that much. But yeah, I gotcha, I gotcha. I I'll, uh, I'll get to it. Um, oh yeah, he keeps sending new stuff. He, he mad. He real mad. I think it's this guy, right? Nephis. I don't know, he wrote me some bullshit. Like a bag of of shit or something like that. Uh, and then it was very weird. I had no idea what he was trying to say. Uh, hang on. Ah, ah what the hell? Uh, let's take the English one. I put something in the mat hundred times you are filthy fuck the romanians <laughs> uh, like well why why man what did the romanians ever do to you um weird weird guy um i wonder ah no wait he's romanian so he says the romanians fuck me i guess um or no, I, 
who knows what people try to say sometimes. Ooh. Club of the Slave Militia. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. I don't have any slaves, but, you know. Ah, oh, dear lord. I'll never get what I dream of. Uh, oh, that's a that's a word of death town. parties as a priority. Uh, or summer has extended. Dude. Not all of them. I think so too. It's also home from all the death towns. Four minutes, four minutes. Like it's not scary enough this like fuck it. I'm I'm moving to defense to capital. <laughs> it go on farm list and then oh I need to de do five more lists or something I'll uh, get right back to that guys I'll just take a short break in the sun and get some energy and then I'll be back and fix the farm list so uh, see you in a bit guys
Hey guys, I'm back. Oh, I can do some simming. Oh, reaching a. Oh, entertaining. Seven and that one. Uh, and then we can uh, look at incoming. Jesus has arrived. Jesus. Le, le weird guy. Okay. Hey, never twice. Uh, let's see, where's the actual link coming? Fake, 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 fake. Uh, Jesus. Jesus, 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 and Jesus. Boop, boop, boop. And. Oh, it'll be a while. I have to have this defense here, but it looks like the whole hammer is home. Yeah, it's me playing on X5. I am a dirty, dirty boy on X5. Uh, I'll get them. Damn you, Jesus. I have to be like uh, building up a rally point. You're a bad boy. Very boring. Uh, yes, so I needed to launch here. Um, where was it? Was it this one? Yeah. So we're going to go low practical here and be like, fuck it, he's AFK, full waves. Uh, and then the trick was bakery, grain, and then hundred. Okay. Yeah, so waves are fine. But well, let's hope it doesn't insert. <laughs> All good. Put 
put on the small bandages. And I'll be it. So, there you go, Batman. <clears throat> then I can't really kill much more right now for the time being. So, we're back to simming. And. Whoa, he's running out. I'm a terrible, terrible human. Did you know, if you click your mouse wheel on top of a link, it will open in a new tab. So, what you're saying... Uh, that closes the link, uh, for me, at least. Uh, If you click your mouse scroll wheel on top of link, it will open. So if I click it there? No. That doesn't do anything. Ah. Click click scroll wheel down. Like Okay, it, it's it it's there now, and then I click the scroll wheel. Click, 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 nothing happens. What? No? No what? Go to map? Select the village. Oh, and then here, you mean. Yeah, okay, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, okay, nice. But I, I, again, my, my whole problem is when I have already set it up, then I come into the issue where like, ah, fuck, I needed another tap or whatever. And then it's a little bit harder to, to backtrack to that. But thank you, it's, a, it's actually a good idea here. Um, I'll remember that one. That'll help me. So, thank you. And risky fart, like, fuck off. <laughs> uh. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I'm seeing some constant reports on my village. Oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a dirty, dirty tech. So, oh, just getting raided. I, I don't have the money for this, like, or the time to be online and NPCing every 40 minutes. So, so I'm just chilling, building some defense on the side, simming some more. Boom. Slow and steady. No, I don't save just millisecond suicide. I actually save my sanity because because otherwise I sit and create tabs, you know, and then I paste in. And then, so you see me doing that every time. And it's way easier just clicking to open the link. Uh, oh, here we got uh, defense. Well, I can set the farm list and then... Uh, no, I'm, I'm not top one production. No, uh, I'm, uh, I, I was in the early game until my, uh, my dog punishers uh, said uh, we want to raid you. Um, so... Um, 
so so no and uh, i am uh, i'm rank 5 right now so still fine but they rated like 47 millions from me so so far i'm uh, i'm dropping a little bit on the list so <laughs> if it's seeing me open links with the right click like the, the thing is i know stuff exists for the mouse wheel but i'm i'm not very good at clicking with it um and i don't like it that much because it kind of rolls when i click and yeah i don't know i don't know wait 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 but uh thank you i'll try and be uh, a more productive human being uh, shit, guys, I keep forgetting I need to move these damn lists. Uh, okay, this is a 10. This is a 10. Suicide is a 10. I love you, man. And uh, that's a 10, and then there was a lot of 10s up here. <clears throat> four, four. a double as well and then rest this once right yeah and then we can move on to the next list which was four <sighs> okay Okay, fuck this. <laughs> Just putting all the two. Kosas hunts are fine. They're good. Nothing wrong with them. All hammers are beautiful. Okay. 
So. list okay. thought it was going to be an easy stretch for the finish but apparently not cool. tens there that one. That was it. Task completed. And they are all active, so I can just start doing the farm list. Let's just check this one for stuff. Alfonso, 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 Jesus. So, all good for now. Two under attack, so let's just put that over there. Give us with some extra oomph. Uh, it's fine. Uh, never twice. Uh, I don't uh, like what I enjoy the most in Travian is actually the conversations, <laughs> which is also what Travian is mainly about. It's about talking to people and uh, hanging out. So, um, like, I like starting with a little crew of people and then you work together, have some fun, share memes and stories and whatnot, and do some voice sessions and meet up in real life and uh, hang out and. You know, just um, uh, 
you're playing 24 7 kind of so you're talking to people 24 7 so I, I like just chilling um game wise i don't know <laughs> I, I i like the fact that you're very competitive in the game in regards to the effort you put in it also has a certain reward and you can uh, work together to accomplish some goals and there's uh, some nice gameplay to be had um, <coughs> so yeah yeah the community side I guess that's also why I'm here streaming now like that, that, that it's the fun bit um, So now I'm missing out a little bit more on uh, on the Discord chats and stuff like that. Otherwise, I think I would be more active there if I wasn't busy coordinating things and uh, and just streaming. Oh, oh, that was a good one. Oh. <laughs> getting old and cracky. Um, I think my cues are shit. Oh, that's okay. -ish. This is terrible, terrible. But again, lag of farming. Um, so let's see what we can do about that. Bo two needs a massive boost. So. Start with that. But now the game is also like uh, again, there's some gold elements to it in regards to development of accounts but you still have to have some game knowledge to execute different things so i also kind of like the competitiveness in it competing with yourself competing with the enemies competing with your teammates uh sharing development talking about it uh, all that stuff i uh, i do enjoy a lot What do you guys like the most? Does that come with the experience? Um, both, both. Again, understanding how to develop accounts and how to execute different things in the game and stuff like that. You know, it's about, ooh, what did he do over there? Okay, reach out to him. So. What did you do, man? <laughs> or, you know, having that debate, it can be hard dragging stuff out of people also if they're on enemies teams and stuff like that. Um, but um, but no, you, you learn a lot by doing things yourself as well. Setting up attacks, timing stuff, experimenting a little bit with how you can launch and execute things. And again, people, you know, back in the day, it was like, oh, how does, okay, you're launching with offline mode in Firefox. Okay, how does that work? And then you go down that rabbit hole. And so it's, it's also your own inquisitive nature that kind of defines how fast you learn and how much. And it can also be very problematic for people to learn the game because people say a lot of different things you know one of the most classic things i remember when i started playing everybody had on their profile a tag saying uh pop doesn't kill people units do like everybody had that and you know the most important thing is to sim and get up your production and then you kind of have to be online and then people can't raid you in the early game and then when people have katas then you actually have a ton of defense so you've been pushing up your production so you know 
you don't never know who you should really listen to. Um, so that also, you, you need to be very conservative, I guess. And, um, and then really reach out to the top players and ask, but even top players are not necessarily uh, the best accounts either. And right now, if they don't have great storages and stuff like that, they're unmanageable almost. They could have, you know, and all their supporters having one greenery, one warehouse, and then they're sitting just grinding all day and they have to be 10 people on the account to just keep things running a little bit. Uh, I, again, I don't know <laughs> these guys. Uh, just an example with some units, uh, towns to look at. Um, so, but again, everybody plays a little bit different and, and depending on what you want to achieve and stuff like that. But, um, but uh, there is no better teacher than getting your hammer walled. Then you know what not to do. I was also sitting here during the night. I was like, I wanted to attack something and I, I couldn't like sitting and running scenarios in my head for like an hour or something until I capitulated and said, summer, no. I, I can feel a disturbance in the force. I don't know what to do. I should just go to bed. And then uh, I killed this guy over here. I knew who was oh, AFK, you know, next to a uh, hammer here. Like an easy, easy target that couldn't go wrong. And then I told her to raid the other guys and whatever she could in the surrounding neighborhood. Um, so again, also uh, knowing your limitations. Um, I really hate these Thai guys. They are annoyingly organized. I I have no idea why they gave Unique Wall away, but uh, I like him. They have some nice accounts overall. Also have classic pu puny ones, uh, but they're very active and uh, working well together, coordinating offense as well as defense. And uh, so I don't know how to break them. <clears throat> So it, it, when people know the game, there's also kind of limitations to what you can achieve and do. Um, uh, and finding those limitations are also important. Uh, nothing new has been sent. It's still those scraps coming in. Uh, I can send death here in a little bit. And then uh, this is me being lazy. <laughs> this is how I bring resources to my croppers out here. I'm like, okay, 80,000 of each, evening out the capacity, and pursuing here, and boom. And then we got the, all this to sim with. So you can see I kind of did that on all the towns. So slow simming and chilling. Uh, and then before we had these scouts coming home. Hmm. Right, let's staple up. Good information. There's no go to strategies like chess. It sounds easy saying be active, sim, and grow production, but as you say, at some point you come to making choices that end up making huge differences. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it is a big game of chess, though, uh, but, but, but there's no go to strategy. Again, it's also depending on your settlement area, what, you, what race are you, what should you be focusing on. And and it makes a huge fucking difference if you have two thousand clubs by release of uh, of the beginners protection, or if you have three thousand clubs, like and right there, it also starts scaling massively in regards to your rating and everything else. So so yeah, it's just but again, at some point, it kind of evens out. One of the main things I'm very happy about is that they removed the CP difference advantage, you know, depending on the size of your population. If you were a huge player attacking a small player, you would be at a big disadvantage. 
but you would have good players playing on small accounts just to have that advantage. So it was very like, and in other ways, you know, the whole game balances around, or not balances around, but depending on your economic growth, get more growth, become bigger, get more resources. And then just because you're big, you suddenly had to have a disadvantage attacking other people who didn't invest as much time and and development strategies and stuff like that like you so I, I think that was a really good remove i've been waiting for that since the beginning uh, of the game so some nice functionalities but yeah it there's no super go-to strategy only for the early game in regards to settlement and then there's some basic principles about development strategies and CP generation and stuff like that but but otherwise the premise is the same raid safely and uh, and develop mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That was a nice way to put it twice. Like, it was supposed to bring balance to the game for smaller players to have more an at advantage when being harassed and destroyed by larger players, but it kind of turned into, yeah, people moving artifacts into smaller accounts uh, VV holder accounts shouldn't be large either because it was best if you just had a wall artifact with a, in a capital and then you had a big, big uh, you know a building plan or two and then you had your VV like that was actually the best setup because then if anybody hit any of your artifacts then they would take that CP disadvantage would never happen on the VV, but would on all the other artifacts. Um, and yeah, it just, it didn't make any sense. And again, it's it was a protection for smaller players, but it doesn't matter that another guy comes with 100,000 units against your 10,000, you will still lose. So, and then it just hurt hammers way more. It was, it was harder to clean, uh, you know, people who are offline or not playing at all and stuff like that. So it kind of put a, a, a big, people were maybe a little bit more restrictive in regards to killing stuff. So now it's a little bit more even and it's more fun for everybody. You don't want to sit and lose your hammers for no reason. <clears throat> On the other side, developer's perspective, it's still very hard to counter snowballing. <sighs> well, it's not the developers, you know, it's not, it's not their job to stop snowballing. It's kind of your enemies, you know, it's their task to stop your snowballing because you know if, if like there's still a limit to your production there's still a limit there's a cap in regards to how far you can develop your account and your unit amounts and so forth uh shit that was the reason i boosted here um but again so if you see somebody like simming massively you know, then maybe they don't have that many units, so you should just go kill them. Uh, so, so there is that counter to snowballing. But again, people are not very good at analyzing where people are and how much they have and what their advantage might be. And I think there's still a huge defender's advantage too, also in the early game, somewhat. If you, yeah, I don't know. It's it's all very. dependent on the situation as you said yourself 
chess. And it's not really applicable necessarily. It's very circumstantial. But I think there is some things in place to counter snowballing effect and only snowballing effect is is increasing production with gold and, and whatnot. But but there is not necessarily that huge a difference between people who spent ten thousand gold the first two weeks or people who spent a thousand gold. You can still be very competitive comparatively. But again, if you don't use gold at all, then you're kind of fucked. Mm, how do you personally end up balancing your production troops and CP production? Well, our go-to mindset is production, 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 and then the CP follows, and then the troops follow. I think you see in a lot of my videos, it's we we uh, play the settlement game in the early game, trying to settle as fast as possible. Then we pretty much focus on the capital uh, that we settle and then the spawn. Get those production completely to 10. That's why I'm saying production, production, production. Here you would see other people building more smaller parties, developing, developing their production a little bit less. And again, that was also kind of a lie. We're also focusing a lot on our troop production and the spawn for the rating. But again, on an X10, after the first week, we have both in at level 10. Um, and then we start parties. Then we start big parties. And then we don't really rush that whole early game where you see people running a lot of small parties doing... Um, doing uh you know suddenly you have people with two towns and then you have one guy with four because he's running those parties focusing on that stuff like we just keep it simple for ourselves and focus on production only and then into big parties and push there and then we keep pushing production 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 and then just running big parties in all towns consecutively um and that's kind of our development strategy. And then later on, you know, you get the units when you actually need them. And then depending on where you have settled in the quad. Again, here we played in center, so we built a lot of early game defense. Uh, focused on that a little bit while starting the rating up. Um, so with... So troops are kind of secondary, at least if you're playing defender. Uh, or tertiary kind of you kind of want to just stay under BP unless you need to help your alliance uh, somehow uh, but if you're a solo player just stay under BP and just keep raiding oasis and keep simming right and then focus on production focus on CP and then the troops will come I don't know that's our view on it but again that also comes with activity Um, we make our towns manageable by focusing on getting warehouses and granaries. Again, we rush everything the first two weeks. That really sets up your foundation for your account. Again, you can go even more crazy uh, and not increase your storage capacity. But again, for the first couple of weeks, we're kind of running out of cap out of like 40,000 <clears throat> up to just having one granary completed. Uh, 
in regards to storage capacity kind of so you have an hour on everything so you just use all your resources on production and parties and so forth and just have enough for putting on a big party in your towns but after that the difference between us and other people is that people sit and build academies and keeping their smithies keeping their barracks keeping their stables keeping their whatever you can imagine embassies a workshop uh, all kinds of weird stuff and then you end up with one warehouse one granary and then you're kind of fucked <laughs> and have to be online a lot so the difference is we tear all that down these buildings do, do give 35 passive CP so you can see overall our culture point production per town is actually not bad like the supporters are still around I think these still is because they have their academies and stuff like that yeah and uh, residents and stuff but again we just make our supporters heaven in regards to maintenance so That's somewhat. Uh, um, yeah. Do you miss the old marketplace? Nope. No, I don't. Um, they have increased. Like, like it. Like the problem was that they took a core feature. Everybody uses marketplace all the fucking time. And then they implement the new system, which was faulty as fuck in regards to functionalities. And then, and then they were like, yeah, deal with it. And then everybody has to fucking deal with it every time whenever Tiggy does something. Uh, but they have taken some parts uh, of the old system not re-implementing that functionality, but rebuilding so some things work better. And it actually, I feel it works better now than it did before. Uh, it is still super fucking annoying working with the, that you have to click this send button. Like it, of course, it's just a mind thing that you do certain things and then oh, I need to click that and then we can click here and then, you know, whatever that that's your own brain that needs to work but i still don't know understand why it's a pop-up like it, it's so unnecessary anyways on the brighter side um i think it's okay to handle here i wish there was actually a down button over here for resetting completely because sometimes i like just going through a town clicking there and then if some f something doesn't adjust correctly, I uh, you have to click here like five times to lower it from here to like here, and then I can even this up. Um, yeah, I just wish there was another button. Um, secondly, uh, there is... What am I thinking? Because I, I, I've been using it lately and they built some new features as well. Like when you create a trade route here, uh, I think you can better see it from uh, this account. Um, <clears throat> so I had all these trade routes set up for every zero to 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So every 10 minutes each hour just kept on feeding into this one. And I did that with all the supporters and it took me a minute to set up. Like, I, I really like that part uh, because what you can do now is that it kind of resets. Uh, I wish it reset better uh, when I set something up here. Uh, let, let, let's jump on to it on this account. Okay, there is nothing in this one regarding trade routes. So you can set this up and be like, yeah, we want to go to Sunshine, 10,000 of each, and then say we start at zero, 0, we can do one and then one hour. 
actually what happens now when you create this trade route is that it'll drop down with these specifics and then it will stay here with the same uh, elements to it. So I can just change it to 20 there, uh, 10, 20, 30. And then I just create everything regarding this town uh, and all the trade routes I want them to do. Only problem is if I switch to another town, it does not keep this prefix. So if it kept the prefix, it would be a lot nicer. That is what you could do on the other uh, the older system was that you could go here and then you could back tap and then it would reload uh, the uh, the trade route creation. So when I did from multiple supporters, um, let me just delete this stuff. Um, so yeah, but before on the other market system, you could kind of fix these things a little bit faster, but that this is more a trade route thing. It wasn't reflecting on the market, but again, we're kind of losing some functionalities when they implement these nicer and better running. Like, like again, they're, they're taking some code and they're reworking the code to be more optimized with the mo more modern browser uh, options. So they need to do this development, but whenever they miss out on having a functionality, for example, the offer creation that they just fixed, like here, here, and then you defined, I want to do this trade. And then when you created the offer, you know, it just went away. And then I, I would have to click again and redo everything. And, you know, so I'm very grateful that they fixed this so we could have these uh, easily set up trade routes here, like boom, 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 boom. And now I'm done. Like this would take me fucking 20 minutes to do <laughs> or something because you would have to define everything and, you know, and then click again. And so, you know, and, and that was also some stuff we had from before. So, so losing those functionalities and having to wait a month to half a year, a year to get that back is something that has pissed people off in regards to, uh, to marketplace functionalities. Um, uh, so, but, but now that they're implementing it, uh, you know, you can start to get a feel of the marketplace actually working again. Uh, and you have some nice functionalities. You can also, yeah, when shipping, uh, of course it just keeps the, data core of the town that you were sending to. Um, so it's it's pretty much back to normal functionalities, mostly, mainly. But yeah. I probably forgot. Uh, you have to be fucking kidding me. I fucking destroyed that player. I made it possible to farm and you go and take three villages of him and then squeal me to stop raiding. Sent fucking 50 k each type resources daily as contribution. All you will be my farm soon. <laughs> uh, 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 well, <laughs> uh, well, don't don't be a dick, you know, Nitro. Like, well, 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 he's a uh, well. He doesn't seem that polite anymore, though. Yeah. Um, but uh. I guess uh, you should try to work with them better. Uh, I do understand that people who work hard for making farms uh, do like to keep them for a while to compensate for their losses. 
um, at the same time, if you kill their units, chiefing, it's just more losses. I would prefer if you guys could work together. Maybe you could start writing them about the towns that you wish to chief and let people know in advance. With love. That's as diplomatic I can be because I think they're both shitheads. Um, <clears throat> yeah, th this guy Nitro is just, you know, chiefing what is easy. And there's not a lot of necessarily f towns to chief out there because they are in the outback. So like why are you chiefing out here like you should just keep settling pretty much like like there there is nobody out here right except from teammates and other stuff so now some guy is killing a guy over here or you know it's just an example right uh over here and then you sit and chief all those towns fine it's a good new supporter for you and you can feed over to your capital area and whatnot but when this guy is spending all his units killing this guy you know you want to be able to replenish your losses it's also fucking annoying when people start raiding your kills and whatnot but it's just kind of a part of the game but the least you can do is not chief it and then sit and say that this guy is the asshole like but that you know you did something that causes like a causation so don't come and talk shit about the other people. I, I understand because it's been going on for like three weeks now that these guys can't fucking figure it out. So at least what this guy could do over here and say, hey, I'm chiefing this one and this one. Is that okay, boss? And then this guy's gonna be like, oh yeah, okay. He's gonna get three more towns. We could chief two of them. And then we could talk together and be like, hey, should we kill this guy over here? And you know, and then suddenly you have more farms and more towns and, you know, this actually looks pretty fucking nice. Like, uh, he has tons of oasis around his whole capital setup. Does he have two oasis for everything? Yeah, almost. Pretty nice, pretty nice. A Rastaman. It is Mr. Rastaman. Um, but so yeah what the fuck is wrong with people like just grow a brain and some balls and then talk it out and figure it out um i think we're gonna be hit in six minutes i'm gonna get some fresh air you guys and um i'll be right back in a jiffy <laughs>
guys. I'm telling you, the weather in Denmark is fucking amazing right now. Like we're we're having like a week, two weeks of just pure sun, and it's hot. It's like 23 degrees. It's not too hot. It's just beautiful, and I just want to go for a walk. <laughs> but uh, it's nice hanging out with you guys too. Uh, and the drama continues. Like, let me just focus on what's important first. Uh, this is fully developed, so it just needs more, more. Mm. Stable stuff. Uh, this one needs <sighs> capacity. Oh, damn. I think I'll just start spending on getting smithies up and stuff. All resources are mine now. <laughs> Amount of incoming seems okay. Yep. <clears throat> all right, farm list, and then we can look at all the drama. <sighs> all right, all right. He's like, okay, okay. It's a very short message, but maybe he got the point. Uh. Maybe that'll help. <laughs> Who knows, guys? We're just gonna kill each other at some point. But uh, until then, like, the problem is he's also, like, he, he seems like a nice guy, you know. You, of course, you want to play with some activity. He has a decently big account. He's not really building a world wonder hammer. I actually don't know what he's doing. So why is he chiefing people that are farms? Like... Uh, but at the same time, he's doing pretty okay. Uh, he's a Roman. He's also right next to uh, Bamba, Bambino, uh, who's also making death for the VV and Alliance and whatnot. So, and has been with my crew from the beginning, also started up here with the stream. Um, so, don't want to piss him off either, but you know, it's it's like, why is he not killing this guy, for example? Like, what the hell? Like, like, he has a lot of sweet towns. Kind of doubt he has that much. Eh, he might be defender. Legionnaire. Hmm. He might have a legionnaire cess hammer. Who knows? But yeah, it's like you know, he has options. <laughs> Is there a number of support villages? Def, will you go for as a reference? Uh, Nick always says to me, one Def town, three supporters. Or pretty much like at least one Def town and then two supporters. Then you can place a Def town, then two supporters, a Def town, and then two supporters. Kinda. But that's kinda if you wanna run infantry and cavalry in those Def towns. So, and again, at some point, you should also say, I have enough death towns. So, um, so it, it's more important that you work on supporters for the end game. Also, why I'm settling all these croppers. It's not just for feeding VV, it's for feeding everything, right? Because we are low in crop consumption. So at some point, you simply cannot build more defensive towns 
unless you're just running pure infantry. Um, so again, but you see the same premise here on page. Like, he, he is running infantry, but at some point he kind of stopped and I'm just building more supporter to sustain him. Like, the only th reason why he's not crop locked massively right now is because we're having a bit of it in the VV and and at my account and stuff like that. Um, so, but again, he is still only infantry based, so he could be pushing in all towns, but again, that also needs maybe, you know, a hundred percent oasis to all your supporters and stuff like that, and maybe a diet and whatnot, but, but, um, but at least early game development wise, you know, you asked about it earlier as well. It's like, do you focus on production troops or CP? So again, it's good to build some defense early game also. So again, you have your spawn, build units from there, you build your capital, you sim that up, you settle two more def supporters. We usually build like five or 10 or whatnot, depending on the situation and the location. And then we drop a death town. Okay, we'll build some more supporters for more production. We have this death town running full production. Okay, now we can settle another death town more supporters for production and another death town like you can kind of try and even it out in that direction if you don't know what you should do because what i'm doing here uh on uh on this one is you know it's completely different but i'm building defensive units in all my supporters but i'm not doing it consistently which is also a bad thing like the best is like i have my full upgrades here in the capital so I should just keep queuing more, but as you see, I already I queued like yeah two three two three days of units yesterday, um, so you can get far with that. And then I should, of course, if I had my own production, I I could run units in all of them. But it's the premise still stays the same that you know you need to have some economic growth before you can start units and sustain the unit production. So two to one or one to two uh, is, is a good offset. Um, oh yeah, and I started smoothies and stuff. I was like, why am I building so much? Uh, simming there and there. Got a little extra phalanx in there. <laughs> like, bring it, motherfucker. But this one, and then. Oh, it's actually the last one. So I wonder if we got hit by any other stuff. <laughs> Not really. Ah, it's just crap. Yeah, it's just pure. Oh, we actually got hit while <laughs> Hammer was home, but uh, yeah, not scary stuff. You're welcome, never, never twice. I'm uh, I'm here all week. I'm like, that's what the stream is about. So, <clears throat> um, I just wish I could say more stuff faster uh, wait so I could uh, how's reader looking that's looking fine so actually it's just this one who has negative um, Yeah, why not? That should fill up nicely. So this was the last real one, right? No. Last real one was... Oh, it already landed. 
Yeah, all of these are, yeah, cool. 10, 30, yeah, right, okay. So, well, you got mad, understandable. So, I don't need the defense here anymore. Back to capital with you. Oh, Mule, 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 Jesus Christ, Gold Club, always, always. Gold Club is your, um, is your bread and butter. Like, like there's, there's so many functionalities in the Gold Club. Merchant sends resources automatically and multiple times. Again, those trade routes set up, find spot for the cropper. Uh, so it really helps you finding for, for settlements in the early game, uh, both for cap and for supporters, everything there. Uh, this is fucking irrelevant, but, um, but still possible. Uh, farm lists are very good. If you're just thinking, I might be playing a little bit of offense or doing raiding in early game and stuff like that, farm lists need it. And then allow true evasion. Again, super, super important this one if you're playing a tech, right? So I can just have my units here on Dutch. That is pretty much the only thing that functionality is for and then just disrupting the game in general. I fucking hate Dutch. That was the worst thing that ever got implemented. Supposed to be a new feature to help people grow their armies, but it's just being... It's like, yeah, I cannot clean this guy's account so I can farm him uh, because he has 30,000 units on Dutch in his capital and he might come online and just start defending all my raids. Like, well, if he didn't want to be a farm, he could just build crannies because if I started catapulting him, then he has to defend but he cannot defend because he doesn't have enough units. And that's just the name of the fucking game. It's, and um, yeah. So Dutch has also always been very disruptive to me, uh, making the game harder for everybody. And it's mainly trolls and techs and other stuff that benefits and utilizes it. So for me, no, thank you. Like the Dutch is in principle fine. If you imagine that you're a solo player, you have built a cap hammer only, and you just wanna have your hammer not die in the middle of the night. Uh, but again, then you could always just take your hammer, launch it away on an oasis, like five hours away, blah, blah, blah. And then it'll be back when you get up in the morning. That's the old fashioned Dutch. But, Again, people are not really using it like that. And again, it's bad to build cap hammers because of the lack of capacity and everything else you have. So it's it's not really a few feature that people tend to use much. So, um, so that's kind of my take on the whole Dutch thing. Uh, it's, yeah, please remove it. Mm hmm. Hmm, I guess. Why not? But yeah, that came out of the gold club advantage. I like like I, I, I can't live without any of the features, but I also hate these features. Like it's like I already like for me. 
this should all be free. Everything. And then the only thing you pay for is gold for uh, NPCing and auto completions. Um, like, there's too many places to buy shit. And, uh, and these are just primary elements. Like, th this is super disruptive. Like, why should I pay for having the production that everybody else have? Or pays for, but a force to pay because 25% is a lot. It's a lot. And then uh, all the plus features, like a better map view. It's like, it's f it's a fucking map, guys. Uh, and then adjust the game to your playstyle with direct links. Like this is linked list over here, right? It's receive attack warnings. It's here. Um, optimize your time with multiple queues. What's multiple queues? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, multiple queues is for... Um, I, I was sitting and thinking units, but it's for building <clears throat> uh, multiple things in your town. Which means for many cases, it's just two things. Uh, instead of one. So, uh, again, also... Basic shit. Order your merchants to repeat a shipment automatically. Okay, so this is trade routes or... Yeah. <sighs> merchants sense resources automatically and multiple times. I, I don't know what the difference is between those two. Order your merchants to repeat a shipment automatically and then send resources automatically and multiple times so i'm thinking this is trade routes and the other one is just the capabilities of of clicking these so again but you kind of have need to have all of these things to make your account pleasurable to play so i'm like oh, it's just No, Muda. That's 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 not how it works. <laughs> you send it to Nick. I uh, I can't feed it. I'll end up starving your shit. I'm sure. By the way, when does um when does our hammer land? Uh, forty minutes. Me. Yeah. Uh, oh wait, no, this is fine, that was the wrong account, I was thinking, no, this page, <gasps> Nick, what are you doing? Did I promise Nick? I think I promised Nick to look into his account a little bit. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, what have I done? No, oh, I didn't promise per se. I think we talked about it yesterday. He's busy at work. Um... Um, this is uh this is a VV suicide. It's our VV village. So Nick is the holder, but uh, we're slacking apparently. So uh, don't 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 mind this. That's why I I I told him I don't necessarily want to stream the VV <laughs> because it shows us slacking way too hard. Um, so this is the yeah VV building. It's gonna look like that in the end. Um, so. Uh, Working on that, um, but um, <clears throat> let me just check for overflow. Ugh. 
And Nick was like, yeah, my supporters are great. They're built up. Like, they have so much capacity. And then I told him, yeah, but what about the chiefed ones? And he was like, yeah, it's all perfect. I'm like, I can't, I can't build anything here. Um, what do you want from me, Nick? Like, can I, can, is this, yeah, I can do chiefs. So he might need this. There you go, Nick. No overflow there. And we fix this one. Uh, uh, I think I'll do town hall levels just to spend down. And then we can just start working on another granary. VV, nine minutes. Okay. <laughs> I told him, like, uh, he was starving units in the VV the other day because people haven't set up any trade routes and stuff like that. And I was like, well, why the fuck don't you have a town next to the VV? And now he marked this as, it's a VV town. It's uh, nine minutes away. You can you can easily move some resources from there, right? Uh, for fuck's sake, Nick. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to build. God damn it. This one needs a trade office, that's for sure. And then I can just build a granary there and trade office up. It needs a residence, right? So. Uh, yeah, VV looks um, different based on each tribe. So it'll look like, yeah, this in the end. So you can see that whole square is the foundation you can see there. Um, so yeah, a lot of different versions. Um, don't mind the overflow. Looking away, can't do anything about it. Should try to get a storage charity so I can bulk up more. But never used it, so don't want to be a burden of not knowing what to do. Well, there there is nothing to know about storage and people who doesn't know how to use it. I I was about to say something bad, but you know it, it's it, it's a no brainer. You get it, and you can build more on your capital. Uh, that's the main goal of the storage, and you have an NPC spot to work with. Again, you take it, it gets a active after 12 hours. In 12 hours or even 24 hours before, we would do that here because we have so much capacity. Then we just save up. And you pretty much need to save up, let's say, bum, bum, bum. You need, I think, uh, great granaries cost around 500,000, I think. And, Great warehouses around a million. So you need to save up one, two, three, four, five million plus one, two, three. So to build what we have here in our capital, you needed to save up eight million or so on your account, which is actually not a lot. You can easily save up more. Um, so, and then with your production as well, but again, just doing one town is super easy. So you you use your gold one town costs around 300 golds to complete uh and that is just the price to have storage because then you 
it becomes active and then within one hour or two hours with repetitive routes from your supporters and then you're done and then you pass on the artifact and then you organize of course before you it even activates you write to the person and say oh you're next in line okay you can launch your hero uh, usually people have an activation period of four hours maybe six hours but it's so not necessary like you can be done within two hours easily usually we're done within an hour because when we had a small storage for you know our capital and the hammers and stuff like that we just boosted from all the defenders as well so that means the merchants only have to run run one time so we would easily make it done in one hour move it on to the next wait 12 hours build it in a one hour move it on to the next so that is the optimal but again three hour activation time for a small is also fine that gives you plenty of time to fix everything uh, also as a solo player with only access to yourself so but again remember you cannot sim them don't waste time on it not even on the level ones just boost them up because the sooner you get it done the better for everybody yourself and the next in line and uh and whatnot so th there's no bigger control to having that storage you know it's always good to just fill it with perm def again most people with small storages at least is in the capital so easy to just put in a def wall uh, and feed it if it was the capital we were looking at um <clears throat> but it's important to get storage it's e even two weeks after artifact release like it's still beneficial again you're saying you have crop problems well then you can spend two days three days to get your crop fields up stop death production and or keep it going at the same time and do a field level a day and that'll pretty much pay for your continued unit development so again we go back to the same premise from uh, from earlier where it's like what comes first production troops or cp like production production always comes first um, and people are like yeah but i don't get the roy and return of investment you know, the return of investment is your fucking troops are not starving that's the whole point um maybe i should just build a field there or we could build this one you're a little low <laughs> What makes you go for 19 or 20? Oh, I don't know. Depending on how much you care about the account. Like, it's... And the whole setup. Let's say... After Arties, there's so much more to focus on in regards to uh, hammer developments, trainer pushing, and I'm always revolved in that. It can also be having a unique diet and having to set up unique diet hubs and everything. And it's, it's a lot of costly resources. So this round, we were so stupid to only do 17s before Arties. Like the best you can do is do 18s and then upgrade them to 19s. If you got 18s and then go to 20, again, it's also longer days that you have to spend on getting to 20s. Uh, so the best if you're going for 20, I would say, is to have 19s before Arties. That's also a lot of work. Um, you need like 12 warehouses, so it's a lot of trading out into all your supporters, NPCing there, and then moving it back into the capital. But that is stuff before artifacts, so it's also a good investment, but it's a lot harder to make. But again, maybe, I don't know, I like 20s. 20s are the sweet spot. 21s are fucking retarded. 20s are really nice. Um, so I recommend going 20s. Um, but again, we just want production now, and we stagnated and stayed on 17s before Arties, so really put us behind in that regard. So, but 19s, I would say, is the sweet spot, also for a defender building a nice uh, capital, uh, stuff like that. It's easy to build. Again, a lot of crop capacity. We could even remove that and that and that and still have three more great granaries and still be able to do 19s with just five great warehouses. So I would I would say 19 
are the optimal in all cases. Um, uh, why your troops are not in diet village? Uh, because we don't have a diet. I think that's the that's the short version. I haven't really tried to get a diet either, uh, which is probably a bad thing. Uh, but diets are also hard to kill from people and and take. Um, so we missed out on a small diet. I think like was it five ten minutes uh, before we landed on it. So unfortunately, yeah, we missed out on a small diet. Um, that was a little unfortunate. So, and I haven't been hunting for one. Uh, also, the talk was that we were with the All Alliance um, and they have the unique diet. So Nick kept telling me that he would maybe set up a functionality uh, with them where he would take the unique diet and then we could have taken the VV early game and used that as a diet hub for the entire Alliance. Um, but apparently they all didn't want to move it because they also used it for diet hub even though nick offered them to build a diet hub next to them and then they could have free feeding there again they're very mainly orientated around center here so just having a diet hub wherever here i think could have covered most of their lines with defense but again the main premise is that we don't have a diet right now um Sure has a negative impact for me, but what should I move over? I'm raiding mainly with all my hammers. I could have found a diet somewhere and fed my swords, but I moved some of them over to Nick's account for a while, so he just fed it and opened up so I could actually do the 19s in the capital. Uh, let's see. Like, And there is no other diets close to me. So, you know, sometimes you just have to take it like a man. Like I spend an entire, like the Egypt development uh, series I have on YouTube. We also have a nice account, but had to babysit the unique wall the entire game. We were nowhere near a diet. We were all out by ourselves in the boonies. So, and if people attacked us, we would have to spend like three hours relocating the defense home. So, you know, it, it wasn't worth the hassle. And in this case, it's not worth the hassle either. Uh, we have this one, which is plus plus. This one, which is plus plus, uh, which is still more than 100 feels from me, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Psst. you know, 160, 200. Uh, large diet, which I'm not really interested in. Uh, doesn't really provide enough value for it. It's also there 100 fields away. So I have no diet options. Um, I think also BM had a diet option and I thought I could use that. But as soon as we were working on the confet with BM before they had to migrate into our alliances and all that shit started, uh, they had a small diet. So they had um, <clears throat> they had one of the... Where's the diet? There you are. Uh, one of these, so I think, yeah, this one got lost. And you know, also nicely deleted now in shame. Um, so yeah, this one is, um, is a diet we used to have. So having this diet for the BM Alliance would have been very nice, but since we don't, and there's no diets in our vicinity, it is what it is. So I'm not crying over it. It's it's okay. It's fine. I didn't care about it to begin with. Oh, we got tons of tasks again. What was it? Uh, nothing there. We're good. I'm forgetting to send raid list. This is bad. Hmm. 
why are we up to 25? But I guess that's because they kind of went offline and forgot to send. Gotta keep track of them. Tech, but now we're building a hammer. Don't, don't, don't tell them. So we're gonna make a triple here. I think that'll be nice. But again, it's right next to the capital. A little bit easier to handle all that stuff. Oh yes, I made it. I'm in top ten, bitches. <laughs> I am rank six, seven. So I'm doing my part. When did we land? 25 minutes. It's going to be interesting to see what we're actually going to bash into. Uh, attributes, all good. Nothing else that needs rework. It's mainly summer behind bandages. Oh. Ah, fuck off, man. Fuck, fuck you. <laughs> God. Okay. Tesla is buying everything. But the prices were really nice. So, understandable. Mm. Ah. Okay, somebody also asked earlier about... About... Um, hero items and and uh, I think that was never twice um, so personally I don't feel it's overpowered I gotta say not even for gold and non goalers alike and I recommend you check out the number day one video on this goal account I, I think I kind of stipulate what the conditions are like you don't need gear like it's nice getting a helmet of enlightenment this one helmet of awareness is really nice but that's because it gives 15 percent experience both on animal kills and on the task rewards that you get so it helps increasing your level faster um having a cheap weapon and again th th this one might be expensive to get you don't necessarily need it. It's just a nice bonus. Getting a cheap hero weapon, just getting from an opposite race or something like that, just to get those 500 power uh, in attack power in fighting strength in the early game is pretty nice. Uh, uh, any life-giving armor or armor reduction is pretty good. Uh, and then may have spores for speed if you need, but you don't necessarily need that either. It's just it's nicer to have and so you can do without just get a weapon a weapon is fine uh, and then maybe an armor and you're pretty set this just makes you faster which is also nice but have you found a nice settlement location you can still get very far uh, just raiding and again it's about finding clay it's about finding iron easy uh, to kill easy on your health and helps you to be able to reset your health. Um, so grinding that, resetting, resetting, resetting. Again, early game, I spent maybe 50 ointments. So again, buying a weapon for 500 gold, or 500 silver, maybe an armor for the same. That's a thousand silver. You can find that on any adventure. And then buy maybe uh, 50 ointments. And you might not even need those ointments. Uh, and you might even find enough ointments on adventure for getting 50. So 
I feel it's very balanced. Again, there's some items that helps you increase your value in the end game or in the, in the early game, which is books. So you can have your hero on resource production, send him out to a location, and just before he gets there, you use a book, switch him to offensive power, hit it, and then directly after you change it to, uh, to uh, resource production. So that means you can do in, out, and then switch. So you get the full production. So let's say you have, I would still recommend you just grind with your hero and uh, run on full strength in your early game. But when you reach like a, at any point and you have a lot of strength on your hero uh, around here maybe or here, then you can start utilizing, oh, I switched to production. I'm running on an oasis 50 min uh, 30 minutes away. So it means that every hour you switch a book uh between resources and strength and then you get like a double up on production and uh, resources but again that has nothing to do with early game and it, again it's just because you don't have enough oasis close by that you need to do that switch so it's not necessarily altering and something a low golder couldn't do either um <clears throat> so i i, I don't feel like you just even as a low gold player uh i i play pretty low gold on on uh on this server to begin with i felt um and i still manage to sit and clean everything uh also around my spawn after the release and uh and that stuff and that was not with a lot of ointments either um so uh, just by like I think I've used four books of something and then this has just been my bag of books that I never had to use. I've still been running around, running into stuff with the hero even afterwards. Uh, I did the plan here that I grinded to a hundred and then I converted to resources and then I've just been slowly hitting some lower oasis or adventures and stuff like that. And then with all the simming, I just slowly increased the, the fighting strength. And now we're just working a little bit on the bonus. Uh, what was 1600 gold six, 1600 uh, what do you mean <laughs> I don't know I, I wouldn't say this is not low gold per se uh, let's see So I lived on this for the first three days. Ah, yeah, three days more or less. That's 750. And that's early game development, pushing production up in the camera. Uh, like, like within this time frame, we had full production in both supporter and capital at 10. And again, buying all the weapons and gear I needed. This is all you saw on my current hero. Uh, well, 1600 is, is an arbitrary number in regards to, are you talking about like a full server duration or are you talking about a week or are you talking about a day? Or because some people use 1600 in a day, I think some of the top accounts buying all gears and everything and like buying at full price and stuff like that, then um, then they could spend this on the first two days. Uh, but um, full server, uh, 1600 is, uh, is nice. Uh, that's very low gold for me. Um, but uh, playing a Roman account, just simming and, uh, and uh, maintaining your crop consumption, like, uh, Oh wait, but I think I need to build some stuff on uh, on the VV. Let's just put that on, and then we put this on, and that'll be enough time until Nick is home. Uh, oh, Nitro also wrote him here. Wow. Um, 
Yeah, sixteen hundred gold. Um, that is pretty much what Paige has been spending. I I don't think I can check his order history. Oh, I can. So he put one hundred and fifty, four thousand, and two fifty. I'm not sure why anybody put on two fifty, but okay. So he has put on four thousand. <sighs> 300 or so. Um, and he has 2,600 left. So he spent roughly a little bit below 2,000 gold so far. Um, and you bought 200, 1,200 and have 250 left. But well, how much defense do you have? Because th this is a comparative low gold consumption account. You spent, okay, you've only used a thousand. Page has spent two thousand. But again, he also has us an account looking in once in a while. So we are, yeah, going in and saying, okay, you need this, 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 and now your production is complete. Um, but a page here, you know, has three hundred twenty thousand Praetorians for the value of two thousand gold. I think that is pretty, pretty damn good. So you're roughly around the same. You have 250,000 in, uh, in capacity. So, you know, not, uh, not bad at all either. So again, like shit, you guys have better accounts than most people who spent, I don't know, 5,000 gold. Just saying. Uh, people have an arbitrary understanding of how they should use their gold. Um, so as long as you invested in production, then you're not in the wrong, at least. So, oh, random talks again on that. I need to sim. Mm. Oh yeah, and then we can do the palace. Bam. that on Hey Savia, how do you organize your villages? All do off troops? Uh no. I I think somebody talked about it earlier uh yesterday like about organization um like again our, our organ like right now these are just up here because I'm simming on them right now uh so I need quick access to them uh, these are artifact towns, so I just want them in the top regularly to be able to spot them so they don't end up down here where you suddenly don't see any incomings. Um, but otherwise we just organize them on distance like this is, or based... <sighs> Oh, yeah, I, I went over it yesterday, but fuck it. Uh, spawn is, you know, A, but we don't have any spawn towns next to it. Otherwise, they would also be named A. This is B, this is capital area. So I would organize them based on distance to, like, I have them based on size pretty much for the hammers. Um, again, this is, this was forwarded a little bit away from the capital. These are right next to the capital. So again, it's just based on the size from when we've been building them. <clears throat> And then we have a uh, deaf town with scouts and then deaf towns. And then the rest of these are just supporters and these are cropper supporters, just like these. So we just organize them in a, a certain fashion and uh, and bank them together. So we can always just, oh, I need supporters, brrr, do the parties and then send all the resources away. Uh, Okay, Mula. Uh, so what's best, Anhugad or Reshep? Uh, they're both amazing. 
And again, you do, I would say you do need maybe one town running slaves and reship. Uh, not, or not necessarily. It's just, it's the only anti-cavalry defense the Egypts really have. Um, so, and yeah, as Elite Win says, both, like, there, there's nothing wrong in both. Again, Anhua God is much like the Druid, so they are fucking amazing. Like, they're really fast and has great infantry death power. But having Resheps around, you can also use them a little to clean Oasis and stuff, but it's just a really nice death unit. Um, but they're slow comparatively to the Anhua God. So if you want to join in on a lot of defensive action in the Alliance, I would recommend doing Anhua primarily. But doing one town running chariots is not a bad thing at all. Uh, no, no, bees are not necessarily hammers. Bees are hammers first. Ugh, let's troop over you, then you can see. Capital, hammer, 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 hammer. Death town, scouts. Death town, death town, death, death town, death town. So again, and then they're just split by another alphabet letter, just for, for these are seven C's, six C's towns, and then nine C's and 15 C's are D towns. And then what you could do is organize them both here with the defensive towns. You can organize them by distance, which they pretty much are these. So the closer ones, if I return them home, they can be sent faster to a death call, right? Uh, same with production, pretty much. They are based on the distance to the capital uh, and so forth. It's pretty much based on our settling grid. But again, we always take what's kind of close by having two or one oasis and whatnot. So um, so that helps with that organization. I like doing it. Like people can always pretty much spot what a hammer town is and where it is located and stuff like that on your account. So I, I, I just, again, I'm also streaming. Everybody knows what I got, uh, but it just helps organizing. And I always think about it is if I were a sitter and I locked into this account, how do I avoid being overwhelmed and that is doing some easy manageable uh, maintenance pre-work on your account um, and the location of them. So again, achieving a new supporter that it's going to run, be put down in there and then I just mark it and say, okay, this need work. Uh, all of them still need some work, but you know, it's not a priority. So priority towns have some weird stuff on them. <clears throat> oh, <I'm clears throat> oh yeah, that hit the spot. Oh no, uh, minus ninety-seven, sixty-eight. Okay. Okay. And I'm as bad as ever as sending those farm lists. Oh, now we're up to 22 again. Okay. Acceptable. Accused still terrible, kinda. Hmm. But are you guys getting adjusted to the new market system or did you just want to have me rage at it for like 20 minutes <laughs> like again i i am happy where it's progressing to the way it has been implemented that's something else but but you you guys enjoy it now a bit more Pretty much. 
much everything we got. Oh, when do uh oh hammer lines in six minutes, guys? We're gonna get it on. this what the hell is this ah uh, foo buy us fuck you um that's what it means i guess um but we can remove that but uh we've got a free kill guys <laughs> What was before? Oh, <laughs> that's why. Like, there's there's no reason to do follow up units. Like, but you you only risk losing them. So I'll just send twenty to fifty units, and twenty is just then they can't see what's coming in the rally point, if ever needed. Hmm. Otherwise, I think we're good here. Oh yeah, I need to return this to capital. And I still don't have any other faster way than when you send here. You just double tap back on the on the mouse um to get the same coordinates and whatnot. It's not really worth doing the, the whole send here and then click there and send and then click again. It's faster just to back tap. Um, Beyond three here. Hmm. Okay, that could use. Hey Nate, what what sure did? What what did you do? What did you do, man? I'll do it like that, just to fix the crop. And everything is in the capital. Uh, can we no missing sixty thousand? Ah, that's not a problem. Boom, done, deal. Oops, there we go. Boom, boom, and back there. Everything's covered. We can just. Start spamming that raid list. That should help. And then... <clears throat> oh my god, I should not sit here with the door open. It's just getting hotter and hotter in the apartment. <laughs> um, the weather is, as I said, so nice. So... I will go enjoy it, pretty much. Um, we're waiting for two minutes. 
then we'll see if Batman uh, lured me into uh, an ambush. It could be a thing. I don't trust anybody. Hmm. So, a little bit of action. Again, boots are active. I think I'll talk to Nick about what we should be killing. Maybe I'll just keep doing this. Maybe we'll throw Hammer away somewhere else. Like, plan is to get rid of them. <coughs> Lower our crop consumption. Um, anything missing here? No. And uh, too many accounts. Okay, Nick has this covered. Three, <sighs> two, more or less. Come on, come on. Bring it home. Bring it down. Oh, shit. You guys notice what I fucked up? I didn't target these on residence and uh, palace, so I might actually take a lot of damage on my catapult waves. But, uh, oh, apparently I didn't. He didn't have any warehouses or greeneries. But uh, there we go. Cropper deleted. Wait, what? Ah, I think people were, I think also including myself, was raiding his oasis. Uh, eh. It was over here somewhere, right? Yeah, that was that one. That means... Yeah. I need to remove this. <laughs> I would recommend everybody else also to... Uh, remove. Uh, can I? No, I can't do... Uh, um... Ah, uh, we'll see. Uh, hang on. Nah, doesn't matter. People will figure it out. Uh, then I can give Batman a report. And... So, I love you guys, and uh, thanks for dropping by, but the weather is so amazing. I just want to dive out into it, get a little walk in, and uh, Nick's also a little cranky from work, so I think I better talk to him first, and then um, and we'll uh, see what's left of the time for the coming days, but uh, I will be back at some point, and uh, until then, you guys uh, hang in there. Have a great time out there and uh, see you soon.